thing that you said, and I quote you saying this a lot often because it's deep and it's profound and it's in your wheelhouse, that we're living in a post-constitutional America. Now, Joe Biden doesn't get to pick and choose what laws he's going to enforce. By the end of this third year in office, it's likely we're going to be well over 7 million, probably 7.5 million illegal immigrants coming into this country on his watch. Um, we have to feed them, house them. You see what's happening. We don't know how many people on the terror watch list actually made it through. You know what, Mark? That is lawlessness. How come nobody holds them accountable? I'd say this is on the spectrum of stupid to stupider, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> what is the purpose of immigration, Sean? The purpose of immigration is to improve our country for the people who live here. We're the citizens. These people are supposed to be representing us, not every foreigner who happens to come across the border. You talk about this uh, mass murder uh, who killed five people today. That mass murder wouldn't have killed five people if that mass murder wasn't in the country. All the murders and rapes, all the assaults and batteries, all the thefts that occurs from people who are here illegally, that's on Joe Biden's hands. So I have some questions for Joe Biden, I really do, which is this. What do you say to the women and the girls who've been molested and raped as a result of your border policies, sir? What do you say to the women and girls who tonight, as I speak, are sold into sex slavery as a result of your policies? What do you say to the people who died trying to get here, the terrorists who slipped in here, and MS-13? What do you say about that? So far you've said nothing. What do you say about the nearly 100,000 mostly young people who died from fentanyl as a result of your open border policies, other drugs? You say you're for gun control, all the illegal weapons coming across the border on your watch. What do you say about that, Mr. President? What about the drug cartels that control our borders and are making billions and billions of dollars? What do you say about that, Joe Biden? And there's a lot more. The ranchers, the farmers, the towns and the cities on our side of the border that are being destroyed. What do you say to those people, Joe Biden? Big city mayors begging you, Democrats, radical leftists, to please stop. Why don't you listen to them, Joe Biden? You have a duty to tell the American people in a complete few sentences, maybe even a paragraph if we're lucky, what the hell you're doing and why the hell you're doing it. Where are the millions and millions of people who've come into this country illegally and legally under your system? Where are they today? We don't have the foggiest idea. And not only that, 85,000 children that he's lost. He's lost 85,000 children. What about the quarter of a million young teenagers who are indentured servants working in restaurants and fields and so forth 12 hours a day, and the Democrats pretend they're humane with this open border? And then we Americans, we have food shortages, baby formula shortages, energy shortages, even tampon shortages. We have medical services shortages, medical medicine shortages, and you're letting in millions and millions of foreigners into this country. Where are we getting all the services, all the products, all the goods to handle this? The schools, under a 1982 Supreme Court decision, public schools must take in illegal aliens. Where is the classroom size for this and all the bilingual teachers? Where are they? And ladies and gentlemen, we could go on and on and on about this. But the man is not complying with the immigration laws of the United States. He's violating them. He is supposed to, whether he likes laws or not, to enforce them. The Attorney General of the United States does nothing to force his boss to enforce the laws of this country. We don't have U.S. attorneys prosecuting people at a level they should for crossing the borders of this country. And when states like Texas, Arizona, before the current reprobate became governor. Uh, Florida, border states are trying to protect themselves from this onslaught. They're undermined by the federal government that has plenary power in order to protect the citizens of this country. So I would again call on the attorneys general of the states. I would call on the district attorneys in very every county particularly those who are Republican and conservative. You know, 
for reasons to sue this president. To sue him for anything you can think of. Dust off your local county ordinances. Dust off the, the uh, state laws. Dust them off and sue him. And other things need to be done as well here, Sean, which is this. The families that are suffering as a result of Biden policies, either the value of their property being diminished, under the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, or a loved one is being killed because this president and his administration's practices, sue them. And what I'm saying here is, test the limits of the law. Push the envelope of the law. The radical coup Democrats do it all the time. They've done it in Manhattan. They might do it in Atlanta. They might do it with the phony special counsel. We should be doing it too. And here's the truth. The consequences of what Joe Biden has done to this country on this border, and now the northern border too, won't even be felt in full for the next five years, seven years, ten years. The consequences won't be felt when he's long gone. So your children and your grandchildren are going to have to live with this. That's it. I'm done. <laughs>